What's up, YouTube? My name is Gene. Spring Guys Part 25 from my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, guys, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of the live streams. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way to the wasteland, discovered this whole new region, and found our way into the Gerudo City. So, in this episode, we're actually going to be talking to the queen, the whoever owns this whole place over here. And we're going to be starting... The main quest to defeat our third divine beast. If we actually make our way here, look at this. Look at this place. It's just a full gold, like, layer over here. I'm just going to meet a new person. It's like the main person for this area. Her name is Riju. She is the Gerudo chief. And she kind of, like, owns everything. Kind of like Prince Sidon of the Zoras. Oh, wait. She's talking. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Yeah, so she's basically like Prince Sidon of the Zoras, or, uh, what was it, Yunu Yunobo, Yabundo, in, um, in the Goron region. So we're gonna make our way up here, and this guard is absolutely huge. Just look at him. Just look at the guards, they're huge. If you actually, like, swing at them, they'll actually, like, just pimp slap you with the sword and just rip on you. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. So, guys, while talking to the Gerudo Chief, we actually tell her that we can calm down the Divine Beast, but we actually need to get her stolen item first, which is the Thunder Helmet. It's a helmet that... You cannot get shocked by electricity for so it's actually really good and she wants it before we can even start the quest but i want to show you guys this real quick so look how big this thing is look you can swing at him ready oh boy <laughs> yo she just slams on us <laughs> like i don't even think we take damage but it's just so funny look swing <laughs> she, just, she just tanks us yeah we don't even take damage but in order to get the main quest started we actually have to head down here and talk to the captain over here so now that we're talking to the chief right here, we, we actually have to like get the details of where the thunder helmet is, the big helmet that protects electricity. So now we get the details and we have to get this in order to like prove ourselves so they can know that we are the one to like save the divine beast from the city. But we get this other objective. Let me check out the map. Where's it at? We have to head all the way over here to go retrieve the thunder helmet. So the quickest way to do it is you can actually just climb walls here, which is awesome and get on top of here and climb out. Look at this statue. It's a sand seal. These sand se seals are awesome. You guys will eventually see them later. Like, look, they're right here. That's a real one. You can actually start riding them in the sand. I'll, sh I'll show it to you guys later. You guys will actually see that. But for right now, we have to head to the objective point. So let's get going. Oh, yeah. Check this out, guys. We rented a sand seal. Make our life so much easier. Look at this. <laughs> it's like you're wakeboarding. It's so cool. But which way we got to go? Let's check the map real quick. Yeah, we got to head all the way around this way. But everything just so much easier with the sand seals. Make them dash and all that. Like, yeah, baby. <laughs> Instead of just walking all the way around in the sand and everything. Taking hours and hours. We just rent a sand seal for 20 rupees and now we're cooking. And everything's just so much better. You just fly. You discover everything. But it would have took us so long to just like walk up this whole path and everything. Are we going the right way? Yeah, we're going the right way. We just have to make our way through this little like ravine over here and all the way up. And go retrieve the Thunder Helm back from the people who stole it from the Gerudo people. Come on, Sand Seal. I think there's a certain point where he can't go past. Where he'll just, like, call it quits. But we'll see when we get there. Come on. Look at us go. <laughs> this place gets so much better after you defeat the Divine Beast. Because it's not as dusty and everything. Like, all around, if you look, it's just all dust. It gets so much clearer after you defeat the Divine Beast. And I guess you could take him in here. The Sand Seal? I thought he would stop at, like, the entrance or something and wouldn't let us through. Look at us, we're just cooking through here. Look at us go. I believe we have like a nice boss fight over here coming up to get the Thunder Helm back. Oh, there's Falling Rock Sand Seal! Dodge him! <laughs> Let's go. This is so much fun. There's actually like Sand Seal races too, which is cool. You can unlock like shrines doing that. So maybe we'll do it in like another episode. Oh my lord. Dodge it! Okay, we just dodged it. And we can make our way all the way up here, but I believe this is where our Sand Seal ends at. Oh! He hit his head pretty hard, but he's good. He did his job today, and we are perfectly fine. We can actually start making our way up here and start retrieving the Thunder Helm. And look, these are the people who we had the first who stole the helm. These are called the Yiga Clan. So these are the Yiga people. They're like ninjas. So they're kind of annoying, but they're easy to kill. Oh, where'd he go? Where's our boy at? He's going to disappear right here. Bang, one more shot, and he's done. Got him! See you later, dude! <laughs> they drop actually really good bows that like shoot fairly far, but they don't do too much damage. They're just good for like range and all that. But it's nice. So, so we're actually gonna have to head to their hideout in order to get the Thunder Helm back. 
for the chief of Gerudos. So let's get going in there. But there we go. We defeat all those little Yiga people right there. And now we can actually head into the main hideout area where more will be located and stronger ones. So we're going to have to fight a bunch of people here. But we got this. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Make our way in here. We're actually going to grab this torch. We're going to have to drop something. What are we dropping? Because I think we need a torch right here. What are we going to need a torch for? We got a light. Well, I'm telling you, you got, we got to light something. Is there one torch that's not lit? I don't know, but there's a little pathway here. We're just going to break these boxes open. Oh, it's not a pathway. It's just like a sickle and all that. All right. I think we got this, actually. So, guys, if you actually grab the torch and take it out, you can actually, like, walk up to these little things right here. Oh, we put it out. Luckily, there's another fire here. Let me just jump up here. Yes, and we can light these things on fire and find the hidden path. So there is a hidden path under one of these. So we're just going to start burning them up and hopefully finding it. I believe it's this one. I just saw under it. So we're just going to swing at that one. Light it up. There we go. We light that up. Yeah, you can see under that one, which is nice. And there we go. <laughs> There's the hidden path right there. But we have keys coming after us, which are annoying bats. Let's see if we can... Uh... Change to our master sword real quick and get whooping. Get out of here, boys. <laughs> I love the sound they make. They like squeal. <laughs> Look at this. Now we're in the hidden Yiga clan hideout. So you can't really get caught here or they'll send you to jail. As you can see, this person's in jail right here. So you say, God, escape somehow. Okay, so here's the plan. I think we gotta be very sneaky. We gotta be very sneaky. Yo, what you want? Leave me alone, Keith. So I believe if they catch you, they're all gonna start coming after you. So I think we just gotta sneak around them. Where's our boy at? Which way? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yo, these guys are crazy. Alright. So we can actually sneak this way. Where's this boy at? Because if you get caught, I believe just like tons of enemies come after you. And it's just like not even beatable. <laughs> like it's just annoying. Now this is the coolest part about this. So they love bananas and all that. So if you take your bow right here. I believe we can just shoot a regular bow and knock it down. Oh no, we need a fire bow. We need a fire bow. No, we do not, actually. Since we picked up bananas, I believe we can actually go over here. Hold a mighty banana. And drop it right here. Right? Watch this. See if he notices the bananas. So, look. No. Look at the banana. Look at the banana. Can we just eat on past them? No, he's going to turn around. Come on. Find the bananas. I know they like the bananas, so let's see. Oh, yeah, see? See, they're a big fan of the bananas. So look, you distract them with the banana, and then you make it through the next entrance. Which is good. We're grooving now. So we just have to make our way to the end. We're actually going to hop up here real quick and give it a nice little scout out. I believe there's like a, like a bunch of bananas up here, if I'm not mistaken or something. There's like a ton of bananas somewhere. Let's see. Look, yeah, see? I told you guys. Like, they're just fans of bananas. Look, you can actually come here and steal all their bananas. <laughs> Give me all your bananas, boy. What's up? <laughs> and just grab this. And get the topaz. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we can keep moving along here. But we got to find how to get out of here. Can we actually, like, hop down here? Oh, God. Where are we at? So, how do we get out of here? We got to figure out the way. The path's up that way, okay. So playing here. Grab bananas. Alright, we're gonna hold this banana. We're gonna drop it off the ledge here. There you go, that's your banana. Glide over here. Can we get up there? Yes, we can. Alright, let's see if we can distract this guy by holding another banana. <laughs> drop that banana down there. And glide over here onto the ladder. Get eating up there. Look at that. Look at us go. There should be another way out of here. Which way do I got to go? I believe if we walk across here. Where's the exit at? All right, that's the exit right there. So we're just going to grab one last banana here. Hold it. Oh, we almost fell off here. That would have been terrible. Drop the banana. Go get the banana. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny. Like, how they're just like trained masters. And they're not. And, like, they get distracted by bananas. <laughs> Now we can actually make it into like the last room right here. We actually have a nice chest right here. What we got in here? This is such a cool little like part of the game. We got more bananas. They just keep bananas in chests and all that. So we have to figure out the puzzle in order to get out of here. So guys, in order to get out of this room, you actually pull out your magnesis rune. 
but on the ground there's a bunch of chests you can pull out we're just gonna show you guys how you, you can like pull out some chests there's like a couple in here maybe like three or four and you just got some cool little items in here for you like rubies and all that precious gems like see they're all located just like around here and everything so you just eat them out the floor give me that chest nice cool little chest right here let's see what this one has because the ruby was a pretty good item and topaz and all that so you got like high selling items but you actually got to bring out your magnesis room and flip this door wide open in order to get to the end where the thunder helm actually is and then we got this little cutscene Look at this dude. Look at this guy. He doesn't know who we are and he's wondering why we're here. He's like, what? What? And he realized we are Gerudo, which the Gerudo and the Yiga clan are like enemies, like mortal enemies and all that. They said they've been looking for us and everything because they want to kind of kill us. <laughs> so we're going to have to fight this guy and get going with him. But we are actually gonna to start us off we are gonna switch our armor out because if we get hit once with this terrible armor right here We're just done right away. So we're gonna put on our good armor And we're gonna focus in on him. So he actually does that little thing. Oh, give me the, my magnesis I believe we have to like stasis it or something. Let's see. Let's grab our stasis out Let's see what he does No, that doesn't do anything for us. He's just gonna throw this ball at us Let's switch back to our Magnesis. And look at him. He has, like, the shield and everything. So we're going to see what he does. Oh, uh, we got to shoot him. Like that. Distract him. And the ball comes out and hits him. And now we can go in there and get some wax on him. What you want, fool? What you want? Get out of my face. Ripping you up with the Master Sword. What you want? Go ahead, do that again. Try me. Try me, fool. Yeet. Get out of here. Yeah, so he's not too hard. Once he just pulls the ball over his head, he actually just knock, Just shoot him with the arrow and knocks him in the head. And then... Go up and start dealing damage, but we're actually like low on arrows, which stinks. <laughs> so he's gonna start changing phases now, where he pulls out like these two balls, and it's like it's not even that hard. So watch, he's just gonna start rotating the balls in like little circles, and he just gotta time it right. It's like once the ball gets over his head, shoot him. I think we missed that one. Yeah, so we missed that one. <laughs> but we actually have to change arrows. Let's use our electric arrows. Yeah, by no means is this guy hard at all. He's just gonna do the same thing, rinse or repeat. He'll just throw the balls at you if you don't shoot. So once it's over his head, like that, bang, drop it on his head. He comes out here. You can start ripping him up. What's good, fool? What you want? We already got him down like half health. But our Master Sword actually just ran out of energy, which means we cannot use it for a little bit. We're going to switch to what weapon we want to use. We're going to use a Knight's Broadsword. And then it's just, just rinse or repeat here. Pretty simple. I wish they would have made this fight harder. I had just like a really good boss fight in the DLC, which I haven't played yet. Did I miss again? Oh, no, we got him. Which I want to get the DLC and play that. I just haven't found time. Look at this. Going to his last phase, which isn't, like, remotely hard. <laughs> just another easy thing. He brings out a ball, and as you can tell, it's a metal ball. So we're just going to pull out our Magnesis rune and grab it from him. And smash him in the head with it. It's just that simple. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's just, it makes it, it's kind of easier. <laughs> it just looks intimidating. Grab it again. Yeet. And there we go! After we defeat him, a chest comes out and everything. And now we can open up the chest and get what we came here for, which is the Thunder Helm. Which is the precious Gerudo heroin reclaimed by the Yiga. But we just got it for the Gerudo Chief. So we're going to head back to the Gerudo City and we're going to show it to the Chief. So guys, we finally make it back to the Gerudo City and we got to head over here. But the Chief isn't here. So we're going to talk to this little lady right here. They look for Rage Lady Riju. She's on the second floor. So now we know where she's at. So she's up on the second floor. We got to go take the stairs. Where are the stairs at? Here are the stairs. So we can take this up and go give her the thunder helmet and all that. Where's, where's she at? Here she is. Just chilling here. We're going to talk to her. And we're going to show her that we got the thunder helm. We got it for her. Now that we give her the thunder helm, she actually puts it on. She's like, how do I look and all that? This actually like a resembles a resemblance of the divine beast. So this actually gives Link a flashback as he sees the resemblance. So we can check it out. Ah. Oh. 
Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Look at that! Ragusa. That is so cool. Did you feel that? Wait. This is Urbosa, who is actually the champion of this area, and her power is to strike thunder at her will. So she just snaps, bang, thunder. <laughs> so that is actually the power that we will actually get when we defeat the Divine Beach, which is like the best one in the game. So now that we got done talking to the chief, she actually tells us to meet her over there where we can start the main quest to open up the Divine Beast. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So if you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.